Coach, a new era of sorts in Louisville football. What's been the mood of this team in the offseason? Uh, very positive, uh, very uh, hard working group. You know, I think everybody has respect for Puma Pass, our quarterback. And obviously, you hate to lose a guy like Lamar Jackson, who is so dynamic and such a, a great positive influence for everybody. But Juwan's been sitting there for two years and has the respect of the football team, and he's ready for his time. We have a lot more leaders, um, which helps us bring more energy. You know, a lot of guys who want to help the team get better. What differences as a play caller do you see between Juwan Pass and then the Lamar Jackson? Will the offense change? Um, he's more of a pocket guy, um, so he'll be able to stand in there and, and throw the ball out of the pocket and throw the ball over the middle. So. Uh, the offense will change and we'll, we'll mold it around him. He's a cool, calm, collective guy. He's very hard to rattle, so I think that'll be effective for us, you know, playing in big games and on the road and all that stuff. You, Des Fitzpatrick, Seth Dawkins, you guys are being held as perhaps the best trio in the ACC and one of the best in the country. What makes you guys so good? The thing with all three of us is that we know all three positions. You know, um, we can all play. I can play set position. He can play Dez. I can play Dez. Dez can play mine. We're, we're very interchangeable, so we have the ability to all go inside and out. And uh, we're all 6'3 or better. And uh, we, we just use our size to our advantage with our, along with our wisdoms. Defensively, what do you feel like is the secret to these guys improving this season? Yeah, I think the, the thing that we have to do is mature on the defensive front. We're, we're going to be bigger and longer than we've been. Um, but inexperienced. So we've got to be able to pick up the schemes and utilize our technique uh, within the schemes right away. I feel great about our secondary. I think it's the unknown of our football team. Now right out of the box, you got the champs, Alabama. What are your thoughts as you go into that game? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be aggressive. We've, we've got nothing to lose. I think the number one thing we have to do as a team is believe that we can win the game um, and go in and, and play the way we're capable of playing. I don't think we have to do anything supernatural. We just got to play good, hard, a little cardinal football. It's all about us. You know, you do, you do what you can. You control what you can. We can't control how they work. We can't control what they're doing during camp, with what they're installing, but we can control how we work and how we put together our offense and defense. What does this team have to do to compete and win the ACC Atlantic? Yeah, I think we're, we're going to have to uh, play good defense, be able to stop the run and pressure quarterbacks and, and hit quarterbacks. Offensively, the big thing is going to be not turn the ball over. So the key is going to be taking care of the football and, and not putting the defense on the field in bad positions. I just think every player on offense and defense has to do their 111. You know, so um, one of our coaches always says, do your 111. You know, and it's, it's, it's not being selfish, thinking about yourself, but it's being a team player. Because if you're doing your job, he's doing his job, he's doing his job, and it all comes together. You know, it's perfect harmony.